No matter if you think about what is the Bugatti of the skies, the Bugatti airplane, you'd have to say it is surely the SR-71 by Lockheed Martin. A truly timeless masterpiece of airplane design and stuff. This was built in the 60s and it still looks quite nice today. Although it hasn't been flying for almost 25 years now, yes, it is dead. The only way to experience the SR-71 nowadays is in museums or in the flight simulators. You know, the X-Plane 11 simulator that was released in 2017 had a pretty good SR-71 model, but you know, over the years, it turned out to be quite, you know, outdated, which is why it wasn't included in last year's X-Plane 12 release, the new one. So no, there was never really a way to properly experience the SR-71 until now, because the developers of V Sky Labs have released their own test pilot SR-71 project. For $37, you can dive into the SR-71 world with the most realistic add-on we've ever seen for this plane model. This was released two days ago indeed, and we shall check it out and maybe refuel it in mid-air. The SR-71, a truly beautiful airplane, and it is beautiful here indeed in the flight simulator as well. Now, as you can see, we are spawned into St. Bartholomew Airfield. Maybe not... A very military, uh, yeah. The airplane's cold and dark. It's quite dead. If you take a look into the cockpit, we do have the batteries turned on, but this plane is dead. We can see some yellow little carts here down below our engines. United States Air Force, which are of course the AG-330 starters that put some chemicals. Lots of chemicals into the engine. It's a chemical airplane starter. This plane couldn't t start up on its own, which is quite interesting. All right, good. So battery's going good. We've got uh, all that. We'll turn on the tanks. We can't do that. In fact, the SR-71 pilot wouldn't, like a normal pilot, have to, you know, start up the plane himself. He would shout, um, start engines to running. Engine one, engage Buicks. Or perhaps he would say, engage Buicks. Perfect. All right, Mr. Chemical Man. Yeah. Put some of that trithyl borane into our beautiful Pratt & Whitney engine. This is a very ignitable substance and we'll put this plane into plane mode indeed very quickly. Come on, do it. Give me some power. Oh yeah. Give me some of that. Oh yeah. You can just see that beautiful TEB chemical when you engage the afterburners. That is great. Our plane is absolutely ready. Come on, noseville steering. Don't disappoint me. Why are we rolling through grass now? You're a very advanced airplane. Come on, there you go. Looks great. You can already see this is a very beautiful model. Something else we can add, of course, is our beautiful drone. This is the Lockheed D-21 autonomous um, reconnaissance airplane that went supersonic speed, which is great. This is a 1960. 64 thing. Great. Now, come on. This might not be the most suitable airport for our beautiful SR-71 add-on, but I'm sure we'll be able to take off somehow. We're uh, in this beautiful cockpit indeed. Um, good. Do we have flaps on this airplane? I don't know. We can't find a handle either. So I presume not. So let's maybe just see if we can do... Go full power. All right. Great. Yes, indeed. We're pulling. Yes! This is the sound of freedom, everybody. Now, let's go full power. This has got a zero to 60 time, and I don't even quite know, but it's very short. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Actually, yes! We've been able to take off the SR-71 out of St. Bartholomew Airport, a 600 meter long runway, and it's worked absolutely magnificently. The beautiful afterburners are working as they should, and this plane flies very easily now, and we can reach speeds of up to Mach 3, the fastest jet plane that we did and stuff. Again, a very easy plane to fly, almost like a fly-by wire style. It had stability controls that managed pitch, roll, and yaw, a very important thing. I mean, we prefer to turn these things off. We have no stability control, so anything that we do could very rapidly lead to plane crash. If we just, yeah, there you go. We've just exceeded the airframe G limit. Great. Now, what else can we do? Mid or refuel, maybe. Perhaps we can turn on the uh, autopilot or something. The trouble is, though, there isn't really a manual just yet. We do have the pilot's operating handbook right here, which is the flight manual, a proper flight manual. Security classification, this is uh, actually the when this was still a classified document. There's a lot of pages on how the SR-71 work, but no, as this add-on, the SR-71 is still like an early access. 
The manual isn't quite done yet, but I do know exactly how to engage midair or refuel. Come on, can we stabilize here in midair? Not fall apart like last time. All right, and we can now then go ahead and shut up, first of all, and then turn on the air or refuel switch. Okay, there it is, everybody. We are actually being refueled. This is what is that? The tanker. It's a 707. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go down with us. This is actually great. Now, the problem of X Plane 12 is that it doesn't actually have area refueling capabilities, which is why this is a little um, cheap of a version here because. Practically, it just is a object that is added to our airplane. Oh, sorry. But this is a nice thing here, truly. We're, uh, we're very good. We're actually being refueled. This is uh, quite easy. I mean, what if we turn off the stability control now? And you can see it's quite hard to maintain the uh, stability. Good. Let me go fast, goddammit. I really want to go fast for one. We shall shut up. No, 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 no. Don't over G. We shall go full power in our incredibly thin and beautiful airplane now. Truly, let's do it. I mean, we do have autopilot on board. Let's turn it on. Altitude, heading mode, stuff like that. Now, let's, let me just maintain current heading. Just like... Ah, perfect. And we're now truly going faster. One mark already at 24,000 feet. All right, yeah, we're finally able to fly really, really fast. 2.3 mark, just like that on our beautiful SR-71. All right, let me, let me see what speeds we can reach here indeed. 2.59, let's maybe... 2.59. I wanted to make this plane drop to the ground. Beautiful airplane for sure. But I want to land it. That's one cool thing I want to do. So come on, let's maybe do that. Of course, this airplane has a parachute on board, which should make it quite stoppable, right? I mean, what's like a good landing speed on this thing? I guess we'll find out now. Trouble with the SR-71 is that it's not very much made for visual flying. I mean, we've got this in huge column in front of us. We can't see a single thing. Come on. I can't even see the runway. We need to we need to peek to the side here. We can actually, yes, see indeed. We've got an airport in front of us and we're going to land here. Perhaps butter here. This is a very loud airplane, by the way. Well, that was actually quite a nice landing there. Quite a beautiful, smooth landing. And we're stopping in zero time whatsoever. This drag shoot that we've just put out, there we go, that makes this plane stop in no time. This is actually quite a usable airplane. There we go, come on, let's do it. There we go, peek to the side. Landing gear is coming down, that is beautiful. We really need you. Flap over speed, that's a very weak flap. All right, we're now at like 160 knots. That's quite fun enough for staying afloat in the air. All right, turns out this plane is relatively uh, picky uh, when it comes to landings. That's interesting. All right, come on. Let's make it smooth. Shut up. The landing gear alert. Oh, it's the loudest airplane ever. What is it even warning about? It doesn't have GPWS fallouts. It doesn't have anything. It's quite hard of an airplane to fly. That is for sure. Come on now. Let's get down on this runway. Make it beautiful. Let's make it smooth. All right, there we go. Come on. That's not been the smoothest landing at all, but there we go. We're able to stop just fine with our toe brakes, also with our drag chute. That's actually gone so well, we're able to taxi out of here without any worries at all. That was truly easy going. Amazing. I love to see that. The SR-71 right here could fly here no worries at all. Only trouble would probably be, um... Noise regulations. Also, now we've lost one. Oh, we've lost one after burner. Oh, now they're back. Two at one. God, this is fast. And God, would this break every window on this entire... I probably ma managed to make the island sink. Yes. There we go. We've actually done it. We've taken off once again. No worries at all. Everyone is dead on the island. Looks great. And we also have, of course, once again, our drone that we can't really drop or anything. We can just enable and disable its appearance. But there we go. We're actually... Pretty good here, and we can crash beautifully. So there we go. This is the Skylab SR-71, a beautiful airplane. That's very realistic. So really thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. Now, thank you very much to my highly supporting members like Jamie Ashton, Mike C, James Deram, Ragings, Met RLG, Matt Fan Z, Moritz, Bellhausen, Knott's Enthusiast, Shadow, New the York, Ryland Williams, Kelly Chaos, John O'Brien, and I'm addicted to Airbus A380s. Thank you.